Approach notes. What? Diatonic from above. Three note approach. What are approach notes? Chromatic enclosure. What are enclosures? Diatonic enclosure. How do you use them? Check out this line. Five note approach. Hey everybody, Chris G here, Positively Progressing. Thank you so much for tuning in and for your continued watching habits. Today we're going to be talking about approach notes and enclosures in case you haven't caught the drift from that intro. <laughs> Before we jump into today's lesson, I just want to let you know about two free gifts. One is 825s to inspire creativity. That's on the site. And then also brand new, a 25 workshop. And this is a completely free masterclass series. It's three lessons going over voice leading and resolution, going over how to use altered tones, and going over tritone substitutions. Go ahead and sign up for that on the site after this video. There's a link below, and we'll see you in the workshop. Let's get started. When you listen to any great improviser, whether it's past legends or modern heroes, they all have mastery of approach notes and enclosures that help create melodic lines and the quintessential sound of bebop. How do we get that sound? Step one, listen to these musicians. A lot. And I mean actively listening. So you really have to pay attention while they're playing. No scrolling through Instagram, no scrolling through TikTok. Actively listening to your favorite players. Bebop, post-bop, hard bop, you name it. Modern, all of it. Listen to it, actively listening to it. Ears open. Get that sound in your ears and try singing along to some of your favorite solos. This will help speed up the process to get the vocabulary into your mind and under your fingers. After you listen and sing along, you should definitely try transcribing. Transcribing is a key component to getting this language under your fingers and into your ears. You can transcribe some solos, you can transcribe bebop heads, all of it is important. It's building a foundation for you to understand this language and to be able to freely use these approach notes and enclosures into your improvisation. So today I'm gonna to be going over a ton of different approach notes from one note approaches to five note approaches. There are a ton of them to get you started and to get you start exploring what sounds you like and what you wanna put into your playing. So I'm gonna be using this line. <laughs> Get ready to hear that line a lot. <laughs> and be sure to be actively listening so you can get this sound into your ears. And now let's go over the different approaches to that line. Let's start with the one note approaches. First one, diatonic from below. Diatonic from above. Chromatic from above. So let's start with the diatonic enclosure. So we're gonna go from diatonic scale tone below to a diatonic scale tone above. Now we're going to switch that. Diatonic above, diatonic below. Now we'll go to a chromatic enclosure. Chromatic from below, chromatic from above. Now in certain cases, the chromatic from below or above might still be a diatonic note or a scale tone note. Just listen for the sound. Don't worry about all the logistics of it. Just get it in your ears. Okay, now we're going chromatic from above to chromatic from below, then the target note. Now this is a double chromatic from above. So starting a whole step above, then chromatically going down to the target note. This is a double chromatic from below. So starting a whole step below the note and chromatically going up to the target note. Here's an example of how to practice these enclosures using a triad. Always use something familiar when learning something new. If you have something to anchor it to, like a triad, something very familiar to you or simple, then adding something new doesn't seem as daunting and can be a lot easier of a process. Okay, now we're gonna do three note approaches. So this one is a double chromatic from below to a scale tone above. The next one is a double chromatic from above to a scale tone below. Now we're going scale tone above, double chromatic below. So the last one in this three note series is a scale tone below and then double chromatic from above. So here's another example of that triad idea. So we're going to be double chromatic from below to scale tone above. Now we're 
going to go over four note approaches. There's multiple ways to do this. I'm just going to do two examples. So we're going to go double chromatic below, double chromatic above. And then we're going to flip flop it for this one. We're going to go double chromatic above, double chromatic below. Now this last one is a five note approach. This is one of my favorite ways to get to a target note. Check it out. So that's it for today. If anything, you might have learned a new sharp 11 line, <laughs> but hopefully you learned some new approaches and some new enclosures that you can use in your own playing. If you're up for the newsletter, you're gonna get all the notes from this video, plus a really cool approach note slash enclosure chart that I made completely free. Please feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I always check those comments. I can't thank you enough for the support, so thank you. And until next time, you remember what to do. Always positive, always progressing. Later. <laughs>